So I am making this video uh, for intro to media technology class and we will be making a firewall throw using a footage which you will shoot using your own camera. You can take one or two actions and then record them like this and then we will use from any action you would like to have it finally used in your final project. We will use these three files to make the firewall. These two files are for uh, be used as a sound effect. So you will find all these five files in your BBLearn in this assignment three section. As soon as I'm done with this tutorial, I'll upload these files. So all you have to do is just shoot a video with your camera, mobile camera, and it needs to be an HD video. You can check its info from here. It needs to be an HD video. Okay, then you have to click on author effects. Yeah, click on OK. Click on new composition. Here you can call it uh, fireball throw. and make sure you select this drop down list and click on HDTV 1080.24 and then in duration make sure 30 you write here 30 because the footage which I have created for myself is around 30 seconds or so okay so I come here click on OK and you have to double click on this area in order to get all the files in double click and bring in your files this is your first file this is the for fireball this one is the energy build up this is the fire away shot this is these two files are also for creating the fireball so let's click on open all files come in here so on this file, this is your final composition. You drag in your this file where you know I have cre created my video. So here, if you see, I do one shot just for test, and I didn't like that, so I went ahead and I did the other one. This one I finally liked so I will select video from so I will crop this area I don't need to see this part of video so I'm just putting it away and then I'm moving this whole bar out so that like that so that I don't see any other video other than this so video will start from here like that like this move your mouse here we go here the fireball will start to appear and then I will have an energy boost and then I will throw it away like that and at this time I think I'll be all done so I don't need the extra part on this video from here as well and when you have finished this step now you have to reduce this work area as well so that you don't have export all that extra frames which are over here in this composition and you can also come here and this is around from 0 seconds you can watch here how many seconds are there it is around 10 seconds 10.09010 we can zoom in using plus key so that I can see where I am right now here we go so I am at 10 14 so I will reduce my work area as well like that and I can do one more thing that I right click on my composition this is the composition I block firewall through experiment right click on it click on composition settings and now we can change this 30 second to 10 minutes uh, 10 seconds and 14 frames so let's do that so that we don't see anything else and we export only this 
10 14 press ok there we go we don't have anything extra now so now my timeline is exactly for the shot where I will create the effect ok it's always good that you save your project throw final zero one okay okay now is the time to create the fireball for that I have to create a new composition right click here click on new composition or you can com click on this menu composition new composition here this time make sure this button is unchecked if it is this is checked click on it and right here 600 horizontal pixels and 700 vertical pixels okay and the duration will be the same because we changed it recently so this needs to be 10 seconds 14 frames the rest of the stuff is okay press okay now on this one drag in big fire 03 drag from here to here that you can move your zoom it out like using your mouse or you can also zoom it uh, from here as well but the point here is you can watch this uh, footage so this footage has alpha channel in it so it means it's transparent so that's why if I'll put it in top of my original footage it will look like you know something is transparent so I'm just gonna scale this a bit down like this okay and the next step is I have to put an effect from here so that I can make it round like a fireball and the name of that effect is so name of the effect is optics compensation drag drop it from here to here okay and just increase this value like a lot you see I have to change it a lot just like around 154 or so 55 and now if you will see this fire this is just a camera effect so it has given us a lens effect based on our footage so now I've got this globe going on so you see most of this area it seems empty so I will duplicate this or you can press command D so that I have two footages now and keeping this window here I am gonna rotate this one by pressing W key and press rotate it and you can press shift in order to have these jumps in rotation and then you can have it rotated like yeah this is fine you can press W to just move it like that so that it looks like a perfect circle and there we go it's already looking like you know there is a fireball there over a, in our presentation okay okay and now I have to make it much more circular for that I'll create a solid right click new solid and let's pick up some color from within this orb some lighter orange press ok you will see a it all filled up like this just happens for the solid so you can close this eye and you can open this one up and just after selecting this layer go to this this toolbox and then click on ellipse tool and then by pressing shift and alt drag and drop perfect circle like that okay go back to V tool and move this around you can move it like this okay so this object is being drawn as a mask for this object so if you'll click on this icon now you can only see what where this circle has been drawn okay so you can duplicate this mask by pressing command D and for the second one second mask click on subtract and then you just have to increase the mask expansion or let's just decrease it a bit like this 
and then increase the featherness here you go so it gives you a feeling like you know something round is covering this whole uh, fire so now you see what I'm talking about so this fire is now enclosed inside that magic circle so this is done using these masks mask one and you can also open up this mask one and increase its feathering as well if you want on the corners so that you know it's not a perfect circle okay you see this one is used for the upper mask so one is add other one is subtract one okay okay now that it looks like you know a ball uh, with a fire inside of it and it looks like a fireball but let's give it some you know some extra flames which are just going out so for that let's close this one let's drag in our torch turbulent 02 on our theme there we go so this is our torch and if you double click on it to watch this footage you can watch it so this is this is a torch and we see some flames everything else is transparent other than the flames okay you can always close this if you, because we need to be in main composition where we are okay here we are so you see this is torch turbulent where you wanna see it you can make it small just so like that you don't need to press shift if you want just make sure it is touching the whole hey there we go you just put it like here okay make sure it touches this area okay now let's see you see now much more stuff is happening there we go okay and uh, let's give this torch turbulent 3 put it over here in our scene as well and because this is also going in the upper direction so we can press w key so so that we can rotate it oppositely in this direction total opposite okay so you can rotate it any way you want then go back to v tool move it like this and even you can just scale it a bit like the other one like this so that it touches the the ball as well the fireball there we go so one is going up the torch is flame throwing flames up and this torch is throwing flames down and well we've got a fireball with lots of fire going on and the flames have been thrown out okay so we can save our work now and let's continue bringing this ball over there in our final file where I shot the footage okay so you can close this layer this comp this new comp which you made you can always rename it by coming here fireball comp okay so that we can differentiate this is the throw experiment with the video and this is the only one which where we have created all the layers with with the fireball so we can drag drop it over here in our scene like that okay there we go so we have our fireball in our scene so the first thing which we have to tackle is it is already there and you know I'm trying to create it from scratch but he just it just started coming into the scene so this is the moment where you know it should start appearing so what I'll do here is I can reduce the lifespan of this one from here to here or I can move this one out whatever works for you you can do it you can reduce its life or you can move this around so it won't be seen unless and until you want it okay so anything you like you can do it okay. so here around this area we would like to here I would like this to appear okay so I'm just moving it over here and here its position is gonna be like this okay here right someplace here so the first thing is this is all really uh, dark colored so I'd like to make it blend into the background with my hands as well so for that purpose make sure you have this button on if you don't have this button on then you must have these buttons so click this button now toggle switches modes and change mode from normal to add there you go 
you can see if I put it over here it looks like you know it's 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 part of my background so I just clicked on add and before this there is no firewall here firewall comes in and then you know I ju I'm just gonna put in some keyframes so that I can adjust its positions press P for position click on position keyframe make sure it is on the right place then I keep on I'm just moving my hands a bit so I'm just changing its placement I just moved my hands a bit down so I'm just giving it a new place Move my hand a bit like that okay and then it till here needs to be here just like that I'll just move it down a bit like this then this is the place where I need to put a lot of keyframes because there is a lot of quick movement from my end so you press plus on your keyboard so that you can scrub much more closer to your frames here I'll move it like this okay and then here I will move it like this from here to here and then I can move my hand from here to here here it should be like from here to here and then there we go I'll put it over on top of my screen or wherever you want to do it and then that's about it okay okay now that I have it animated like from here to here you can watch it as well so that it comes into my hand then it stays there and then you know it goes away okay but this is just the start of it okay now we still have to create it from air it just appears like duck so we have to show like it is coming from some place and that's where you know energy is coming in so we'll put it like this so I like this timing that's fine with me but on the end it is still over there on my PC doing some stuff so I'll press S key scale key so that I can put a scale key on here and some scale key just before this point like this and I will put this keyframe and on the next keyframe I will make sure I move it to zero so that it goes from here to there and then it basically shrinks down you can add lots of blasts whatever you want to do here you can do it in your assessment okay and there we go let's save your file again okay so in order to make it appear from here we have to apply an effect named find here in effects and presets liquify and then drag drop it over here on this composition fireball composition okay so make sure you click these buttons correctly otherwise things may become a bit changed for you so first thing is the brush size is smaller so you press command uh, command key and mouse left mouse button to make the brush size big okay then you increase the brush pressure to 100 okay and then I'm gonna click on this button twirl okay you click here on this footage make sure your mouse doesn't move click and then just hold see what's happening there here we go here we go make sure you don't move your mouse around otherwise it will get some somewhat messy there you go okay this is one thing which I did second thing which I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna scale it down this thing okay so I'll make my size of the brush a bit more bigger and then I will click in this click in the start to make it small go smaller 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 there we go okay I am okay with this approach okay so what did I do change the brush pressure click on these two buttons and now you see 
if I click on this distortion this is 100% version of the distortion so I can decrease this version and it will come back to its normal get the point here we go go back to V tool so from 0 to 100 oh, it goes like that so this is 100% so we can even increase it more than 100% if you want so let's let it be 150% okay so give it a key here in the start let it be 150% okay and you can see it over here as well in effects in liquify in distortion percent there is a keyframe here then go from here to here when my arms are coming in like this I will put it keyframe here I'll put a keyframe in and I will decrease this percentage to zero here we go now you see what happens here when my hands come in like that here we go something comes from air okay like that and then you know we can the rest of the animation is all there we don't have to change anything else okay okay save it again okay so I've got one fireball in my scene now I just have to duplicate it you press command D and you've got another one here okay so if you want to scale it up you see what happens I wanted to make it big but if you will see here open it up you have already lots of keyframes here you open it up like this make sure you select all the keyframes and then you can move around this object any way you want or you can scale it up as well like that okay and you see there's a scale key already applied here okay so for that purpose you can make it scale up like this okay you can press shift and make sure if there's a scale like this over here make it much bigger like this okay so that we have a bigger fireball in our scene and this time I'm not gonna I'm gonna delete these two keys which were there to make it go away or you can keep them if you want but you see what happens here you see the reason I want you to delete these keys is this that basically it also becomes smaller so even if you don't want to do it no problem if you come here now you click on this circle again and I will draw a perfect bigger circle create a mask so that I can see this object using the mask okay there we go so this bigger fireball I can only see using mask okay so I'll go to the mask I will increase its expansion like something like that and I will feather it as well okay feather it a bit so I've got two fireballs in my scene now right there we go but for the second one I will apply here fast blur on top of this one okay and increase its value way like that like there maybe like that okay and now you see what happens here when it comes in it shows some extra lighting is being added into this area of my footage right so that's the purpose of adding that one if I'll hide this one you see this is the extra flare I wanted okay so there we go I'm done with my footage now is the time to add some sound effects so for that you just need to see where this build up is of the this this firewall if you go to effects this is just for your own sake like liquify is being it's being created from here to here so here I want to create use this audio this audio is like 
right double click on it and you can listen to this audio over here as well energy build up thanks to you it looks like that and then this is the one where the final shot is being done like that okay so you drag drop this energy build up okay and make sure you have your this small uh, audio icon switched off for your footage otherwise whatever words you were saying otherwise you will hear all the audio which you have over here when you will export this so i just don't want this audio but this audio i want if you open up this audio and the waveform then you will see what i am talking about this audio starts from here it should start from here so that we are the energy build up if you want to listen to it you press control and this full stop key and you can listen to it okay so i can move it from here to here so that it starts from here and till i have it in in my hand i can still hear this audio and then at this point i will use the other one so in order to make it shorter i'll move it out like this keep moving it out okay so that you can make its life shorter like this okay make it smaller like that okay like this mm, till here let's make it more smaller so this is the life for this sound effect you are listening to okay if you want to listen to it as you are working with it you can press command key and drag your mouse timeline like this yeah. you, you can at least listen to what the audio is going to be there okay okay and then i am going to bring in this final fire wave sound effect over here and then i will put this one out like here on this area and you will see what i am doing if you open up audio and the waveform you can see this so this is the final sound effect for the fire so i'll just crop it from the end because i don't want to have this one so this is fine okay scroll it down here i will have an audio of energy build up from here to here and here the throw sound so you can close all these small triangles all triangles press command s and click on this button so that you can have the ram preview this green bar will be there and then it will give you an whole audio preview as well let's see what does it do So now you see the purpose of listening to this voice was that I did not put this audio on the same correct place. This is where I am throwing this ball away. So, so this is where this effect should come in. This effect of firing the this away. And make sure everything is inside of this. So here, when I am throwing it away, this should come in. This should come in like that, okay, like that, and then I can make it 
stretch like that and make sure this audio also stays before that other one comes in so this looks much better now so I will save it and I will render it this time instead of waiting for this RAM preview so you go make sure everything is like this file export add to render queue make sure you click on this lossless then QuickTime then format options and then here H264 press ok press ok here output it to your directory wherever you are working on fireball through experiment click on save click on render there we go and you can go to your folder and there should be a move file over there fireball through experiment let's see how does it do you can make it small because this is an HD version here we go <laughs> 